Hello traders, FS Collector here. Today is Wednesday, October 23rd, and I'm going to be analyzing the pound yen, starting on the monthly, working my way all the way down to the one hour time frame for the full top down analysis. But first, don't forget to check out my website, fxpipcollector.com, if you would like to get access to my swing trade signals, my daily members only live streams on Zoom, and my 34 video trading course, all included for only 30 US dollars per month. So anyways, on the pound yen seems extremely, extremely clearly to be a wave one, a wave two, and a wave three. It looks like it should be a wave four, and it looks like it should eventually go back up for a wave five. So let's take it down to the weekly time frame. Now on the weekly time frame, we had a very, very nice move to the upside last night for a wave B, probably. Now sometimes what we think is a wave B is actually the continuation of the uptrend. So we do have to be aware that this thing easily, easily could just keep on trending up, making new highs. I think it's a wave A, I think it's a wave B, and I think eventually it's going to go down for a wave C, and this should all be a wave 4. But time will definitely tell. And luckily, if you go down to the daily time frame, ever since this thing broke Strutzer to the upside weeks ago, I've been doing nothing but on sort of time frames looking for longs. While I'm doing nothing but looking for longs, if it just keeps on trending up like that, then that's great news. At the same time, while I'm looking for longs, if it bounces from a fib level, breaks Strutzer to the downside, especially one of these key fib levels that I'm watching, then I'll stop looking for longs and start looking for sorts because then it will be pretty much proven that it is the end of a wave B. So taking it down to the 4 hour time frame. 4 hour time frame, my last Strutzer level is still right here. So unless it breaks that Strutzer, I'm doing nothing but looking for longs. I think it, since the last end of a Kretzen right here, it's very clearly to be a wave 1, a wave 2, and a wave 3. We are approaching a Fibonacci level, so maybe a pullback will come, maybe not. I mean, it could easily, easily, easily just keep drifting up. But eventually it probably will make a pullback for a 4 and another push up for a wave 5. Like I said, I am doing that. Absolutely nothing on these sort of time frames except for looking for longs and an uptrend until the higher time frames tell me otherwise, like preferably like the 8 hour, 12 hour daily time frame. Going down to the 1 hour time frame, very, very clearly wave 1. Three waves down with a break of trend, very clearly wave two. This is also extremely clearly a wave three right now. Wave threes can extend a long way, so I mean, this really does not have to be over now. It could just keep on going. Eventually, it's going to have to make a bigger pullback, probably similar to the wave two for a wave four, and another push up for a wave five. But yeah, really, I mean, like I always say, I am doing nothing but looking for longs in an uptrend until my higher roadmap time frames tell me otherwise. So don't forget to join my free Discord channel, which is linked over here in the corner. And as always, thank you and happy trading.